Okay, I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about graphical user interfaces and how they evolved in computing and why they're so important. And we're going to finish this year by doing one last project. It's going to be a GUI project, and we're going to build the Wordle game. So initially, when personal computers, computers that sat on people's desks came out, uh, there were not a lot of operating systems floating around. There was one operating system called Unix, which was mostly used for mainframes. And there was a startup company that built the first operating system for PCs. It was a tiny little company called Microsoft. You might have heard of it. And they came out with this operating system called the DOS. And both of these were what are known as magic word operating systems. And magic word operating systems basically meant that when you turn the computer on, there was like a prompt. This was the one that was used for Unix, and this was the one that was used for DOS. And then the cursor would be right here, and then you just type in what you wanted the computer to do. Like if you wanted to switch to a different directory, you would just go CD, that meant change directory, and then you gave it the name of the directory you want to go to, you hit the enter button, it would go there. And what it presented you with was another dollar sign, and like, okay, what do you want me to do next? And said, okay, I want to list the files in this directory. You just go ls for list. And then it would list the files in the directory. Try to understand that the background of the computer was all black typically, and it wasn't a friendly environment, but this is what it was. And then eventually people migrated, or I should say Microsoft migrated DOS to a brand new operating system. Does anybody know what that was called? It was called Windows. So they basically moved to this Windows environment, and we still have that today. We now have this Windows environment where everything is re represented by a little graphical interface here. And for example, if I wanted to navigate to some w directory, instead of giving commands as to which directories to go through, I can just click here and decide where I want to go, and it will take me there, and I can find my files that way. So for a little while, there was a disagreement as to whether operating systems should be magic word or whether they should be GUI based. And eventually, about 98% of the population decided that GUI was better. Now I'd like you to turn to the person next to you and decide what's good and bad about these two? Why is this better? Why might this be better? What are the advantages and disadvantages of having a graphical interface? Graphical basically means I can like click on things um, and, and have it do things versus a set of words to tell the computer what to do. That's basically the difference. Try and think about what the advantages and disadvantages are of the two approaches. It's, okay, it is easier to use. I think most people would agree with you. Can you tell me why it would be easier to use? Okay, you don't need to memorize anything. This is like the biggest advantage of the GUI. See here, when you use magic words, the problem is you've got to memorize all the words. So it's like a Harry Potter film, right? It's really powerful, but you've got to memorize all the spells. And like, you might have to memorize like a thousand different words to get to know everything that you need to do. Here, you basically just need to hit the on button and then just figure out where to click. Now, there's still some knowledge required here, right, to use the computer, but it's just much less. And that turns out to be the single biggest reason why these people won and Unix kind of lost. Now, Unix is not really around anymore. It's kind of evolved to another thing. What's the thing it's evolved to? Linux. It's evolved to Linux. And so it's still a magic word oriented, but they've started to use some GUI stuff also. So that is basically the way things have evolved. Now, I mentioned to you that approximately 1% or 2% of the population still prefers this. And that 1% or 2%, maybe it's slightly more now, actually, that I think about it, maybe like 3%, they're all related to a particular profession. What kind of crazy people still want to memorize a thousand words and have the computer react to those words? Okay, Ms. Banerjee, there's one profession of people that really prefer the magic word to this day. Any idea what profession that is? Computer programmers, in part, and IT people also, actually, that you mentioned it. Now, why do you suppose that they don't want to deal with this GUI thing? It's just so much friendlier, isn't it, the GUI? You just have the nice, pretty pictures, and you have the little graphics things. Mr. Garofalo, what's your opinion, sir? It's just faster. You just tell the computer what you want it to do, and it just does it. Now, 
you've got to memorize all these commands. But that's your job. You do that for a living. You deal with these thousand words every day. You don't even have to memorize it. You know why? You use it so often, your brain just remembers it. So that's why a lot of people who are programmers, and then there's one subsection of programmers that are really into this Linux thing. Sometimes they have a bad reputation. Hackers, that's right. So hackers really like the Linux thing, and part of it is because, once again, they're just, it's just a much more efficient way to live. Now, when I started as a programmer, for the first 20 years of my life, I only used this thing. And it was just amazing. You could give commands, and then not only could you give commands, but the output of one command could feed into the input of the next command. And so you could do some really wonderful things, like said, go to this directory, look at all the files, add a capital A to all the file names, convert all the files to alphabetical order, and print the list. You could just write that all in one command. You'd be here for a half hour doing that on GUI. Okay? So basically, there are some advantages to this but not for the average person. The average person doesn't want to deal with this computer. It's more like a necessary evil in their lives to get their work done. They prefer the GUI. So what ends up happening here, and this is true now not only for the operating system, but anytime you build an application, whether it's for your computer or more likely even for your cell phone, everything is driven by graphical user interfaces or GUIs. So GUIs are really important. They serve 98% of your customers.